<laughs> and here we are. And here we are. Still talking about the person that Jen ran against. So without further ado, we're going to run the clip and we're going to comment on it. So Matt Taibbi, for whatever reason, had to be dragged back to Congress to talk about censorship again. See, and this is what I really wanted to talk to him about. I want to understand why, if, you know. Well, hopefully if he does show up at some point over the next you know, I... 45 minutes, we'll be able to address that fact. Um, but here is a clip the that is... Professional Journalists Code of Ethics asserts that journalists uh, should avoid political activities that can compromise integrity or credibility. Being voice. a Republican witness today certainly casts a cloud over your ob objectivity. But a deeper concern that I have relates to the ethics of how journalists receive and present certain information. Journalists should avoid accepting spoon-fed, cherry-picked information if it's likely to be slanted, incomplete, or designed to reach a foregone, con easily disputed, or invalid conclusion. Would you agree with that? I think it's. I think it depends. Really, you you wouldn't agree that a journalist should avoid spoon-fed, cherry-picked information if it's this likely to be slammed. You know, the, last the thing about the thing you have to understand about what she's saying right now that is so significant, and this is the same. And and remember, there's a lot of psychological warfare that goes on with this woman. We're going to get demonetized even was, without that being here. She was a thousand percent exposed across the board for her activity as the head of the Democratic National Committee. So when somebody like her comes out and says, you are literally cherry picking information, here's the only thing that matters, Congresswoman, is the information true or false? That's it. But can anybody else see what, what bothers me the most about all of this? is why is she so vile? Why is she so nasty and shrewd and angry? And like, why Why does she need to, sp this is what perplexes me and bothers me the most, quite frankly. Um, forget the fact that she's on a complete witch hunt a la Joseph McCarthy, which is should be freaking everybody out, okay? That, everybody's an anti-Semite is a, absolute ridiculous McCarthy type of, you know, campaign she's on. But it's the manner in which she speaks to people that are sitting there voluntarily giving their time to someone who actually works for them. I want people to try to understand this woman is our employee and she is sitting there with a smart, rude mouth being so nasty and disrespectful to someone who is voluntarily sitting there to give them answers to things they want answers to. And it's embarrassing to me, quite honestly, everybody in our district, this is embarrassing. If more people saw this, I think that they probably would feel that way, but this doesn't get like mainstream play as much for most people, they don't see it. But she's just so nasty. She is the worst representative in terms of how, that's how she talks to people. District 25, I, I, I swear we could do better. <laughs> Incomplete or designed to reach a foregone, easily disputed or invalid conclusion? Mrs. Con uh, Congresswoman, I I've done probably a dozen stories involving whistleblowers. Every reported story that I've ever done across three decades involves sources who have motives. Every time you do a story, you're making a, a, a balancing test okay. between reclaiming, the public interest. Reclaiming my time. Thank you very much. I ask you this because before you became Elon Musk's hand-picked journalist, so, and pardon the oxymoron. This is not the new thing. Yeah. Yeah. Guys, this, this is, is the older clip. I assume that you've got other stuff, Colin. I no, no, no. And the truth old... is, it's more of the same. Yeah. Okay, that's the truth. It's more of the same. But this is from the original here. But he has been, oh, no, maybe that wasn't because the no, original one, Schellenberg. No, this is the original clip. So Schellenberg is there. Was no, oh, yes, but this, okay. this is like specific. But I specifically, yes, yeah, so we have some stuff from the from the most recent. Doesn't matter. And you know what? And he's not here, so it doesn't really matter. But the point is, is that she is just sitting there so nastily trying. It's really like, honest, again, I was a litigator. <laughs> I was a litigator. I, I've been in courtrooms with prosecutors and and, def and defense counsels and cross examine and there's no need to speak to people this way. What's her obsession with pink? Well, it's her it's her um, so homage to the to breast cancer. Oh, okay. okay, It's the breast I, cancer. I know it had to be something. It's her homage to breast yeah. cancer awareness. You stated this on Joe Rogan's podcast about being spoon-fed information, and I quote, I think that's true of any kind of journalism, and you'll see it behind me here. I think that's true of any kind of journalism. Once you start getting handed things, then you've lost. They have you at that point, and you got to get out of that habit. You just can't cross that line. 
Do you still believe what you told Mr. Rogan? Yes or no? Yes or no? Yes. Good. Now, you crossed that line with the Twitter files. No. Elon Musk, it's my time. Please do not interrupt me. Alaskan Mu Elon Musk spoon-fed... Elon Musk... Again. Spoon I cannot fed listen to this again. Reclaiming my time! Reclaiming my time! We're so going to get demonetized, and Matt Taibbi wasn't even here. <sighs> Guys, join us on Patreon because we're <laughs> we are so asking for it. You realize that, right? Okay. Okay. You know what? We really don't need to continue this clip. It's brutal. It's brutal. So I now, like, oh my god. So now we're going to show you an updated clip because this is not a repeat. This is real. This is the same woman wearing the same exact. Outfit. Well, she probably always wears that as her homage to the breast cancer survivor. Anytime she has her close up on TV, she must show her true colors. I don't know. Pink is the new black something. No, don't don't dark. make no black is great. I look great in black. Don't don't ruin black. Burgundy. No, don't ruin any color. This is the gentle lady from Florida. Thank you, Mr. Uh, Chairman. Something young about her. All of us here Your today have life. heard the stories of the depths of human depravity from the Hamas attack, resulting in unthinkable brutality, including the mass murder of innocent Jews and civilians on October 7th. Witnessing such barbarity steals part of your humanity, and it demonstrates how hatred can drive humans to do unspeakable things to one another. And nowhere is hatred more evident than on social media. Since the October 7th attack, anti-Semitic and anti-Muslim hate speech has exploded online. In just one month after the attack, the hashtag Hitler was right appeared in over 46,000 posts. But the rhetoric isn't limited to hate speech and death threats. Jewish conspiracy theories and disinformation continually find safe harbor on social media platforms. Even the racist and anti-Semitic great replacement theory was recently amplified on Twitter slash X by none other than its owner, Elon Musk, and the right-wing darling, Tucker Carlson. Terrorists use the platforms to terrorize target populations. Terrorizes everybody. And Hamas, even she really has this sense of self righteousness. Oh, she loves hearing herself talk, but the way she talks, she adds, she adds qualifiers and adjectives to everything she says, and it's always a criticism. Um, it's always a slam every single time. He's a right wing darling and you're a so-called journalist. And what are and you? That's my so-called representative. We have that in story time. We could have had my so-called representative because the thing about this is she's so concerned with anti-Semitism. And yet I do not think I've ever seen any more of one single person that would make me want to hate Jewish people than her. I honestly don't like I cannot think of somebody to put on television as a worse representative of what Jews are and who Jews are and what we look like than Debbie Wasserman Schultz. And now we're going to get demonetized. <laughs> Use the personal accounts of hostages and victims to live stream their brutality to incite further violence. Mr. Taibbi, yes or no? Should social media companies allow rape and murder to be live streamed by terrorists on their platforms in order to create fear and incite violence? I believe that would violate their terms of service. Would it so, not? so your answer is no. It, it should not. Do, they, they should not be allowed to do that. Live stream rape and murder? No, right. I, think that, I think that would count as speech that would be prohibited under their ter terms. Good, of good. You do have absolutist policies, um, but I least, do not have absolute. Least, I do. I do not have. Please don't interrupt me. You have absolute. I've asked your question. You answered it. You do have absolutist policies. At least they have some limits. But I think a Homeland Security official. Um, With respect, if, if, if Congresswoman, all journalists me, operate under limits. Reclaiming my time. Limits. That is her go-to line. Reclaiming my time because I don't want to hear what you have to but say. But people watch like the way in which that she is speaking is so condescending and so rude and just disrespectful, and she truly believes that she is of greater status than whoever it is she's speaking to, and therefore she is entitled to speak to people however she sees fit. And in fact, she works for him. And this is all twisted, people. They have it all twisted. She is our employee. How dare she speak to him this way? So condescending. Like, there is no way I would voluntarily ever sit for that. There is no way. I was telling them before I would want to go up and give her the squishy face. When my kids were nasty and rude, 
do get this. Do another thing. Now, now I never did it as bad as my mom did it because my mom almost felt like she would make my cheeks cross over. But like, that is what I want to do. And I would have to get up and walk out. There is no way I would voluntarily sit there and let someone speak to me that way. I, I just find this fascinating. That's what I really wanted to talk with him about. If a Homeland Security official echoed your opinion, you would call it censorship. But I'm glad that at least you acknowledge that rape and murder should not be allowed on social media platforms. Ms. Troy, I have the same question. Yes or no? Should social media companies take down brutal images of rape and murder live streamed by Hamas or similar groups like ISIS? Uh, I, I agree with uh, Mr. No, Ms. Troy. Ms. Troy. Oh, Ms. Troy. Ms. Troy. That's you were looking at me. Sorry. Sorry. Yeah, I believe they should follow their internal policies and they should absolutely not leave content up like that. And I can tell you as someone who worked on the Christchurch shooting where, the, where that terrorist live streamed the attack, which was hor horrifying, horrific, we did have conversations. We had official meetings with social media as an international community to discuss terrorist use of the internet and this violent rhetoric on there and what it would lead to potential more potential violence. These conversations were done in conjunction with social media companies and it was up to them on their policies to make their decision on whether that met the threshold. And that's exactly the point. Can, can you talk about during your time at the Trump White House, did you experience situations where information shared on social media presented a national security concern? Yes, there were multiple times. I will also reference what happened at the El Paso Walmart shooting where there was reference to the great replacement. That manifesto was posted on social media that she media just, she is seriously just, like, I feel like. You can basically pull any person you want oh to go God. up there and basically just say whatever you want to. It's like a self-fulfilling prophecy. And as Wasserman Schultz has shown, she will, and this is part of the reason why I have maintained that she has no business whatsoever, much less being in Congress, but no business whatsoever being on the judiciary I committee. know we argue about this because I don't agree. I think that anybody in Congress could see, sit on any committee. But you see what Debbie's doing, if this was actually a courtroom, is that she's leading the witness. When a witness is not giving her the information that she wants to hear, like Matt, ah, ah, I'm reclaiming my time, well, don't want right. to hear you. Whereas when the lady who was handpicked is coming up, could, could you explain to you do how realize this that she, and she thinks that she's being so slick and getting the information that she wants to put out but yet she comes off like such a shrew and the worst part about all of this people if you're if you please be paying attention to this this is all part of a very big picture of um capital and empire censoring and this is something that to me on one hand is very scary because we're seeing it more and more. The censorship right now is out of control. And they do it in a bunch of different ways. Sometimes it's just flat out, they'll deplatform somebody, right? Sometimes it's just you scare people so that they won't say certain things. Um, you fire certain people. Like it's all different ways that they try to keep it quiet. But on the other hand, even though it's scary, it's somewhat inspired. Because the truth is they wouldn't be running around like this if they weren't scared. Oh, of course. Not. And and it is working. All of the, the people that are protesting that are at places like um, the weapons manufacturers outside Anthony Blinken's house, all of that, that is working. Thanks for watching. If you want to support our mission to transform politics into service, please like this video, subscribe, follow us on social media and consider joining our Patreon where you'll get early access to our interviews as well as other exclusive content. Links are in the description. Peace out.